Hi, I'm Paul Pataglia, and this is section 7.4. You know, I find a lot that my students get tripped up right away with matrices because they're just not used to labeling them correctly. I have Gabe and Brittany with me here today, and Brittany, talk to us a little bit about how we can get students to remember how to correctly label a matrix. All right, so in the book it says M by N, but okay. a lot of students get a little confused by right. that yeah. notation. Right. What's M, what's N? Right, right. Yeah, so I'll just say rows by columns. Okay. And then I'll tell them that the rows are how many equations are in the system. Perfect. And I've even found sometimes that if that still isn't working for students, mm -hmm. I'll say, you know, when you, when you draw the letter R, if you really exaggerate it, you know, go this way, and <laughs> that's the row, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Gabe, talk to us a little bit about how we can maybe structure the lesson. Sure. Good. Sure. So I like to really try to emphasize that what we're doing here is almost trying to solve systems of equations a little bit more efficiently. Okay. So mm -hmm. what I do is I'll start the lesson by maybe looking at a system with three equations and three variables okay. and go through and solve it, paying close attention to where I place each of the variables Got and it. maybe labeling each of my steps if I'm working through Gaussian elimination okay. with the system. And this is before we even go into a Yeah, matrix. I'm not even okay. talking about matrices yet. Okay. And then from here I sort of segue into our discussion on matrices by saying, well, since we kept track of the variables so closely, do we need to rewrite them over and over and right, over right, again? Right. I mean, it might be like one or two step problem, it's mm -hmm. pretty easy to write them down. Right, right. But if you're working through some of these where you're 10, 15 steps, it gets a little cumbersome right. to keep writing X, Y, Z nine times per problem. Agree. And you know, th there should be a little bit of a comfort zone because students have seen Gaussian elimination, mm -hmm. the back substitution process. So yes. hopefully th this is really nothing new. Like you said, it's mm -hmm. a more efficient way of perhaps doing yeah. it. You know? mm -hmm. Brittany, talk to us a little bit about things that you ask students to watch out for as they're setting up their matrix. Mm -hmm. um, definitely placeholders. Right. So putting the zero in the matrix if that variable isn't in that equation. That's mm -hmm. a great idea. And then also the dotted line to separate the left-hand side of the mm. equation from the right-hand side of the equation. Perfect, perfect. I hope these tips have been helpful for you and you find much success in section 7.4.